Hey friends, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video that I just thought of doing, which I haven't done a collection video in a super long time and I'm back with it because I'm excited. I will link my collections playlist up above. I have a bunch of different collections from makeup collections to perfume collections, stuff like that. And it's a super fun time here. And today I'm gonna be sharing my ColourPop collection of you. Now it's not huge and stuff, but I did post a picture on Instagram stories, on my Instagram stories, so follow me over there and stuff like that my instagram is at kdx of beauty yt go follow me over there i asked you guys if you wanted to see this video even if my collection was small and you said yes so we are doing this today and so yeah i'm gonna be sharing my color pop collection view i have anything from their liquid lipsticks to their pressed eyeshadows to their super shock shadows i used to have a super shock highlight which i'll just talk about that in this video so i can mention it but yeah i have just a bunch of different stuff an array of products and stuff like that i will be swatching these and yeah I'm really excited for this video I'm really excited to show you my ColourPop collection ColourPop is one of my favorite affordable brands and yeah I'm super excited about this so let's just get right into it I'm gonna start off with one of my products I've used up from ColourPop I used up several products from them so I'm just gonna show you what I still have so I did use up one of their super shock cheeks I had mine in lunch money as you can probably see I loved this highlight it was just like a very nice highlight it was like a white champagne type color that's how I would describe it at least and I'll put a picture of it on the screen so you know what it actually exists like but I did use this up this is not my first color pop product to use up but it is definitely my first super shock yeah I used this up and it was a very nice highlight I would be interested in getting more of these because I really like it because it's like a cream but then it dries down to be a powder which I love and it's just such an amazing product and I loved having it in my collection and I'm definitely interested in getting like flexitarian and kind of one of the OG highlights from them so yeah okay so now I'll show you stuff that's actually still in my collection I think I'm gonna start off with the super shock shadows to show you first and then I'll get into like other things so I have a bunch of different shadows I've actually only bought like a certain amount like I literally usually just usually get collections so I don't actually go on there and actually buy them singly and stuff and yeah so I have both of Kathleen's collections the first one she did I bought a couple years ago I did a haul for ColourPop actually a couple years ago so I like that up above that was when she lit, released Alyssa in November and um point zero which I don't own point zero but that's besides the point and so I have both their collections I have her like where the night is and then I have a regular collection also I want to give a side note before we get started but I'm not um, showing you my collection to brag and show you all the ColourPop makeup I have even though they are affordable like that's not the point of this video I just wanted to show you my collection and stuff like that's kind of the point of my, all my collections I just like to share what I have not to brag but just to like show you and maybe you would like one of these shadows and you want to get it for yourself so that's kind of my point of view of like wanting to like show you these okay so the first one I have I believe was limited edition it has limited edition packaging and everything like that and this one is one of their ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. And this one's in Birthday Cake and I believe this one was limited edition. So this is what it looks like and everything. I'm gonna have close-ups of everything. So it just looks like this. It's like a pink frosty color which I really like. And I like their shimmers better than their mattes and I'll get into that when I talk about the mattes. But this one is super pretty. It's very glittery which I kind of like. It's like a frosty pink color. It's just so pretty and I just I love it. That's kind of what it it looks like and I should use this more because it is a beautiful color and like I said it's birthday cake and it's perfect I just the name really suits it and I love this one okay then going off the same bandwagon so one of my favorite shades is the next one I'm gonna be showing you and this one is Winnie which is obviously from Kathleen's collection and this is it named after her dog Celine and this one is also a pretty pink which I love this is like a rose gold I'd say pink color like it's not really a pink 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 like it doesn't look real pink but it is like a bronze and rose gold I'd say mixed together it is so gorgeous it's like the most gorgeous shadow I've ever seen in my life and this one is like one of my favorites to just layer on my lid then just put other colors like in my crease outer corner and stuff like that this one's my favorite one just to have on my lid it is gorgeous and it's just so beautiful I just love this color and rose gold is my theme so of course I love this one I think I'm gonna save the mattes for last and then talk about all the shimmers first okay so the next one I've actually never used this but it came with the collection so I decided to just get it this way so this is the 
telepathy eyeshadow from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. Pretty much 95% of my colors that I have are from Kathleen's line. So this is like a gold green color, which I think is gorgeous. It is so, so gorgeous. It's like just, just that like trendy gold green color, which I love. And honestly, when I first got this color, I wasn't a fan of it, but I do like it in the artist, I guess, perspective of it. I really need to experiment with this. I think it's a great like, like bold color it you can really stand out with this color and I'm kind of afraid of it but now I kind of want to experiment with this try it out see if I like it but yeah like I said it's a gold green color and it's just so pretty okay so next another one of my favorite colors is Porter it's just this burgundy color that has a little bit of shimmer in it which I love I just love this um, my favorite tutorial from Kathleen with all her shadows is the halo eye that is literally my favorite like look she's ever done with any of her collabs like seriously I'm not even kidding you like my favorite look and I really like that look I probably recreated that look like a hundred times like no joke I've recreated that so much it's such a beautiful like burgundy color it's great for fall and winter and you probably could wear this in summer if you wanted to but I'm more of a fall and winter girl that's kind of like the look I like to go for in fall and winter and this shadow is one of my favorites when it comes to that it's just so gorgeous and I love it so the next color that I have I'm honestly not a huge fan of this one either and this is midnight from ColourPop. this is like a green with a bunch of black glitter in it or black with a bunch of like gold glitter in it i think is actually how it's described and stuff and i just think this is such an interesting color but it's not really my style like i know you can put this in the outer corner or something but i don't know this shade isn't really like my go-to favorite so maybe i will declutter this eventually but as of right now it's still in my collection but yeah it's like just a black with a bunch of of gold glitter in it and it's it's a beautiful color like artist wise I will say it's beautiful color but like personally it's just not a color I gravitate towards a lot but I do really like it and it was again a collaboration with Kathleen okay so the next shade that I absolutely love is blaze and this is like a bronze color which I really love and it's just that everyday kind of person kind of look it's like a perfect bronze for everyday it kind of reminds me of the one I'm wearing today and actually sometimes I use this as a base for any bronze eyeshadows I like to use and I love this because it is like a perfect bronze. It just gives you that perfect bronzy look on your lid And it's just such a beautiful eyeshadow and it's just great for that everyday person I love this color and I've used it several times several several times Okay, and I believe this is the last shimmery color I have. So this is the last one. And the next shade is Kathleen Lights. Of course, we know it's from her line and stuff. This is the just perfect gold color. It's just, just that really bronze gold color. It's like that really intense gold, which I do actually really like. I think it's so pretty. And it's just that perfect gold. It's just, it looks great on your lids. Just put it on there. It's just so like intense and it's just the perfect gold. I don't know how to explain it but it is so pretty and so vibrant and just the perfect color and I love how these eyeshadows just blend where you can just use your fingers and stuff and you can use the mattes with brushes which I would recommend but the shimmers you can just place right on there and you can really blend it which I love and I just love using my fingers for lid shades a lot of the time so yeah so then I have two mattes of course from Kathleen and I'm not a huge fan of the mattes because I'd rather just use a typical matte eyeshadow but that's just me and so the first one we have is called Cornelius and it's just the a warm caramely brown color and I do think it's a very nice color but I don't know I just like I prefer like a more matte and this is kind of matte when you touch it it's not as creamy as some of their other shades but I do prefer like a full matte and stuff like that but yeah I think I might actually start using this as like my crease color for my pan the palette looks just because I end up dipping another palette anyways because I don't have like the colors I want in that palette and I kind of want to use this up but yeah it is such a pretty brown and it does remind me of salted caramel from the chocolate bar palette and then another color I have is called glow and this is just your typical brow bone highlight it's like a creamy white uh, color but it's more like of a cream toned color it's so beautiful and it just gives you that perfect look 
to your lids, which I really love. So yeah, those are all my Super Shock cheeks. And now I think we're gonna go on to the press eyeshadows I have. I only have a few, but the ones I have, I do love. So I don't know if they are doing this offer anymore, but if you bought, at one time if you bought, I think it was four eyeshadows, you get the palette for free. So it's just almost like having a Z palette and stuff. And I really like this. These are all the shades I have. Then it did come with just four indents, but I ripped that out and then I had myself a mini palette, which I love. I only need two more shadows to really complete this palette. So I'm thinking about doing that eventually, but these are all the shadows that I have and I'm gonna show you them individually, of course. And of course they are magnetic, so you can like take them out and then put them back in, which I love. You don't have to pop them in or anything like that. So the first one I have is just your typical brow bone shade. It's just a light cream color, which I love. This one is called Firefly and I think it's just that perfect cream shade you can set your lid with. I use this to set my lid almost every day. It's my favorite. It's just that light cream shade that you need in your life. It's just beautiful and it really just blends the lid, gives it a base, and also sets the lid, which I love. So I use that like almost every day. Then the next shade is another like caramely soft brown type color. And this one is called Bel Air and I just love it because it's the perfect like brown to put in your crease to, to give it a transition and just to build it up and it's stuff. I really like this color. I think it's beautiful and it's just one of my favorites. So I use this one also a lot. Next I have note to self. This is like a warm almost orangish brown. I love this color to mix with Bel Air but I also like to use this alone like in the outer corner or in the crease and stuff and I think it's great if you want to warm up your lid and you want something that's going to really work well with that. Then the last matte that I have is called Cloud 9. This is like a purple brown like think of Coke soda I guess like that kind of brown and it's beautiful. I love it. It's like a purpley brown which I love and I love this color just in the outer corner to, to kind of give it like just some depth to my eyes and really to give some darkness to kind of you know smoke it out which I love okay then we have four shimmers I actually have eight which is kind of perfect four mattes four shimmers it's like the perfect amount so the first one I have is liar liar this one I actually don't love as much as I used to but this is more of a like pink toned like shimmer shade which I love to mix it that's like my favorite way to use it but it's a great inner corner color if you do want to highlight and it just gives you that great highlight which you love and I love how blendable these shades are I love how they blend they blend beautifully and they're just perfect and they give you the greatest pigmentation with literally only like a few dips into your palette which I love so yeah I love liar liar it is just that pink toned color and it's great highlight then I have a ringer this one is like a champagne gold dipped color which I love it's just that gold champagne type color and I love this color on the lid it's my favorite color I actually wore this on for the July so I did an IGTV video with this so if you want to check that out go to my Instagram TV on Instagram and stuff like that but yeah it's just that perfect champagne gold color which I love then I have high strong and this is a like bronzy pink almost toned color which I really like I think you can really just give nice bronzy dramatic type looks with this while still being like natural it's just a beautiful color that everyone loves like seriously I think this is one of their top rated shades it is beautiful and it's just perfect I don't know like how to explain some of these, but it's, you know. Okay, and the last shade that I have is just this beautiful purple called Double Date. I really like this. It's just like a nice purple. Now, this pigmentation doesn't like, isn't the best out of all their shades. There are definitely ones I like more, but it is just a nice, almost lilac bright purple, which I love. I love me some purple, hence my walls, but I just love purple eyeshadows. Purple eyeshadows are my favorite because it's just a nice, like bright color nice pop on the lid this is great like you know under my eye but also on the lid I love pop of shades like I don't always love a bunch of pops but I definitely love this one and that's kind of what's in my color pop palette so the last thing I have left is I actually have a ton of liquid lipsticks liquid lipsticks were actually the first things I tried out from color pop because those were always like highly rated and stuff like that so I have a ton okay so the first ones I ever got were sample sizes and like a pack and so yeah I have like two reds which I don't know what the names are on these because they rub off but if I can figure out what the names are I'll let you know but I'm pretty sure the names rubbed off but these are all the ones I have left I did get rid of some just because they were old and I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of these just because like they're old I don't know but yeah I will probably end up like repurchasing some of these colors just because these are old and I honestly like would rather have full sizes of the ones I really liked some of the ones I tried that 
that I really liked. I really liked the shade Bianca. Clueless is my number one favorite ColourPop shade. And Creeper was a nice red, and I still have that one. I believe it's this one or this one. I'm not sure. But yeah, I really like these. And these were like the first ever products I have from ColourPop. So they might even go with my makeup box because memories. But yeah, these are like the first ones I ever had. I'll swatch them so you can see them. Okay, so these three are part of the Aquarius collection. So first one is Aquarius 2, which I'm actually going to put on right now. Over what I already had on, it just made it more nude. And this is their matte liquid lipstick. So this is their ultra matte, which I'm not a huge fan of anymore, but I still like it like sometimes. And this, yeah, it's like their nude collection from Aquarius, which is the original like lippy stick, which I've never tried lippy sticks. And if I should, let me know which ones I should try down below. And then also in that collection, we have Aquarius, which is the ultra satin. And this one has more of a pink vibe to it. And that one's more nude. And then this one is gloss, which I'll put on. And that's just more of a nude gloss, I guess. It gives like a pink nude look to it, which I love. And I love all these three shades. They all have their own tones and all their own vibes, but they're gorgeous and they just feel so nice on your lips. The ultra mattes are matte and they are really, really matte and not that comfortable, which I will say, but I do like them. And out of all the mattes, I think they are like one of my like top five favorites. I'm not gonna say they're my top favorite, but yeah, that's how I feel about that. Then this used to be my favorite shade and this is Lumiere 2. So it's like a purple mauve type color. It's like one of my favorite ultra mattes. It's one of my favorites, it's like that purpley color. And I think I'm gonna do lip swatches of all these. And then there's November, which November is just like a warm pink color, which I really like. This is one of my favorites. This is their ultra satins. I love their ultra satins out of all the liquid lipsticks the best just because they're very comfortable and stuff. And I know a lot of people say they don't last throughout the day, but for me they do. And then the other one in that ultra satin line is Alyssa. And this is like a baby pink color. I feel like it's just that beautiful pink color and I love that color like it's seriously beautiful and it's just that perfect everyday color okay so that's it for my color pop collection I can't believe this is all that's in my collection I can't believe this is it yeah like this is my color pop collection it's not huge but I do love everything that I do have and sometimes it's better to have like a small collection of something than to have a big collection of something and not love everything that you do own so that's kind of how I feel about that but if you enjoyed my color pop collection please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what's in your ColourPop collection and stuff like that. And if you want any other one brand collections, let me know down below. If I have a large collection of something, I will let, I will like make a video on it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week. I post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and sometimes bonus days. So be sure to subscribe to see all my videos and stuff like that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.